Uh, Tony Ferreri, President and CEO of Staten Island University Hospital. Welcome to all of you. Uh, this is a very special moment. Uh, this is the final uh, presentation of the day, and we're very happy to have a, a very brand new part of the Health and Wellness Expo, and that is the Health Heroes in our Community Awards. This is the first time, and this is the whole group of individuals who are being honored. Uh, we have presentations to be made. We have quite a few present people be presented with awards, so I will ask for your indulgence. Uh, please, uh, we're not going to request any accepted speeches. I apologize for that. We just don't have enough time today uh, to complete that. However, it doesn't in any way indicate that you're not very, very important to all of us, and that's why you're here today, because of a solid track record of getting involved with your community and helping them in a great way. With that, I would like to turn the microphone over to Cesar Claro, who will be making the initial presentations. Cesar? Thank you, Tony. I have the uh, pleasure of making the first two hero presentations to two good friends of mine. The first is Sebastian Angelico. Sebastian Sidi Angelico has spent the last 33 years of his professional career in the commodity industry in various roles, ranging from floor trader to the current position of president of Savant USA LTD, a di division of International FC Stone, an international commodity clearing firm. Sidi has always made philanthropy a major part of his life as he was a consistent supporter of the New York-based charity Futures and Options for Kids and an executive board member of their big event. And they already have 575 people coming out uh, for their fundraiser. So there's still a few tickets available if anyone's interested. From Civi's vision, ECHO has aided many families, such as the family of four-year-old Gabriella, who went through a six-hour surgery for a non-malignant brain tumor where she contracted a bacterial infection post-surgery, requiring her to stay in the hospital longer than expected. Sidi and his foundation chipped in to offer support as well as monetary assistance. Another child who benefited from Sidi's vision was 12-year-old Anthony Cremeni. His family was faced with skyrocketing medical expenses where Anthony was undergoing treatment for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. To ease the family's burden, Sidi and the Foundation held their first fundraiser and presented a check to Anthony's family. And here we are a few years later, 575 people, which gives you an idea of the impact that goes having. These are just a few of the above, above and beyond accomplishments and reasons why Sebastian Sidi Angelico is being recognized as a Staten Island community hero. Sidi, please come up to accept your award. Theodore Teddy Atlas started and has many accomplishments, not only in the ring, but also here in the local Staten Island community. In 1996, Teddy Atlas established the Theodore A. Atlas Foundation, a not-for-profit organization that, in large ways and smalls, comes to the assistance of people in need. The foundation operates a food pantry, gives away turkeys on Thanksgiving and toys on Christmas. They run incentive programs in schools, and they sponsor basketball league. They help literally thousands of individuals and families in difficult times, paying for medical insurance, purchasing medical equipment, making a home handicap accessible, buying a headstone, helping in any way that is appropriate in a given situation. The foundation has given away over $3 million to help the less fortunate among us, 
Teddy was nominated for this award for his dedication and commitment to helping our local Staten Island families who have medical issues and, and needs. It is an honor today to recognize Teddy as one of Staten Island community's health heroes. Teddy, please come up and accept the award.
for the autism community. And only for two people, for Teddy Atlas and for Donna Long, would I take on the challenge of having to deal with the HHC to get a home for the Grace Foundation. God willing, again, in the not too distant future, we are going to have a fabulous new home for the Grace Foundation on the grounds of Seaview. And my staff is committed to it because of this lady right here. She has been a friend. I met her first when I worked for John Fusco. If we could clone her and put her in every city agency across New York City, we'd have an efficient city government. She is a fantastic lady and worthy of this award and so much more, my good friend Donald. Thank you. Thank you. Seniors. 